The Griffin or Der Gareth is a series I didn't even know was going to drop on uh, Prime Video or Amazon as some originally know it but Prime Video and I looked at it and thought yeah okay it's a German series it's a fantasy series this is probably something that would be up my street it's only six episodes long they're about an hour long each episode is this something that I really want to get into maybe I'll give it a go and then I read that it's from the executive producers and some of the creative team from Dark and I thought yeah sign me up so let's talk about the Griffin. Based on the fantasy bestseller, to save humanity from Griffin's claws, outcast Mark must confront his family's dark legacy and enter a deadly battle in the parallel world of the Black Tower. So this isn't anything to do with Stephen King's Black Tower, although there are some similarities there, which I can see a lot of people pulling um, comparisons to. If you've read the Dark Tower series, then you'll know kind of those comparisons. However, this does do its own thing with its fantasy and lore. And I think there are two things that make this series watchable and stand out above some of the others one is that law that's different to things that you we see normally in like americanized fantasy hollywood stuff because it comes from german there's this i guess different type of style the, the noir type of fantasy elements remind me a little bit of like sort of pan's labyrinth you know that kind of law and even though it is the demographic is for a younger audience it's definitely in the late teens, teens and then to adults it's that kind of mixed in between which i think is going to have a wider demographic and appeal to a lot of people if you don't mind watching subtitles i would say definitely watch it on the original we tried listening to the dubbing and it was fine but just really takes you out of the fantasy a bit you need to hear the voice inflections from those original actors that kind of brings you into the fantasy of it then we have the other part it starts off in like 86 and then jumps 10 years and there's this amalgamation of culture and music that really works for this series we have the 80s and 90s rock and it's the kind of the heartbeat of the whole series. It threads as a character into each episode. And the mixture of fantasy-esque moments really lends itself to reminding me of those old school family adventures like the Goonies, the never ending story, a little bit of Stranger Things. You kind of shove that all in there and that's kind of what you're getting from the series. Now, is it the best thing that you've seen ever? No, but it was a thing that I wasn't expecting. And it's kind of scratched my itch of that fantasy genre series that I've been missing. There's been some that's come out recently that just haven't been very good. So I know probably a lot of people will rate this quite low, like maybe just above that two and a half mark. I think it's better than that because I've seen the quality of some of the other things that's been out recently. And this stands above those. I think the acting between the brothers is estranged but it's done well there's this family dynamic because of what has happened in their past and a legacy that they have to carry on you are rooting for them but you're also wondering it plays on this idea of is any of the fantasy real our main protagonist is going to a psychiatrist and then you see kind of the fantasy stuff attack him and you're wondering whether it's just all in their head where they all have issues obviously that is all kind of showing in the story as the story progresses and there is a sort of friendships that build a love interest that builds all of that is really part of the story but the heartbeat comes down to the aesthetics and culture with the music and then between the fantasy that works well for when it's placed in i had a lot of fun with this i'm going to give this 3.75 nicholas cages out of five <laughs> and you got one Congratulations. Not quite a four, but definitely worth a watch. Let me know if you check this out. What is your favorite world cinema fantasy series? Probably a lot of people will say dark. If it's if it's dark, then maybe let, let me know another one. Perhaps there's one in your list that I can have a look at because I'm always looking for more. Thanks so much for watching. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long Tuesday.